morning everybody thanks for joining in on another video uh, this video today is going to be about uh, installing the DK custom floorboard extension and the passenger relocator um, both of them are from DK custom um, I'll put a link below down here but uh, yeah it's gonna be a good morning jump in here and start getting some work done on the uh, Rogue Light 3 the trike Oh, hello, gorgeous. My wife bought this. I'm left-handed. So every morning when I'm drinking my coffee, she can hear me say, hello, gorgeous. If I was right-handed, I'd be a little conceited and, you know, it's telling me every morning, hello, gorgeous. So, there you go. Hello, gorgeous. So everything comes nicely packaged. Um, I've already took, taken the extensions off, but I got nice packaging here from DK Customs. Rider floorboard extensions for 2014 and up. Harley FL trike models. And it even says here packaged by Jamie on February 21st, 2023. So a little personal there, but it's really nice. Um, as far as the trikes go, they're definitely different um, than the regular motorcycles uh, with the footboard extensions there because we've got this parking brake. So you'll have the two pieces for the brake side and then you'll have three of these extension pieces for the, the uh, parking brake shifter side. So it's pretty nice. They come with all the, all the equipment, all the bolts, lock washers, everything. Wonderful um, instructions how to do both sides, even illustrations here. So you can pretty much get this all taken care of. Um, I bought uh, the floorboard extensions, like I said, and I also got the uh, passenger floorboard relocator FB16 Harley baggers and trikes. So this one will actually work on trikes and motorcycles because you know there's a difference, um, but it relocates the passenger boards and these will actually, you can go up, down and forward back on these, so it's uh, FB16 because there's 16 different positions you can put these in. So um, again, this one's packaged by Jamie, February 22nd, 2023. So everything looks great. Um, the powder coating, the machinery, you know, just the, the attention to detail is absolutely awesome on all this stuff. And you know, an extra inch matters on the floorboard um, because it's going to move that floorboard out a little bit. So um, with the air cleaner on the one side and, and the horn on the other, just getting those floorboards out, your legs not hitting those things. It's getting your feet, um, your right foot away from the exhaust a little bit more. And uh, I'm looking forward to it because I think it's going to be a lot more comfortable um, that way. So uh, just another step in what I'm, I'm trying to accomplish with this Rogue Glide 3. Um, still need to uh, discuss what I need to do as far as the engine guard goes, but uh, no, I'm pretty excited about putting these extensions on. All right, pretty self-explanatory as far as taking off the uh, factory bolts. Uh, you use a 5 16 Allen. I didn't show you me breaking these with the breaker bar because whoever put these together sure does like factory Loctite. So uh, go ahead and we've got the two spacers. So the kit comes with four of these round spacers and then one that's got a little offset with a nub and a hole on it. So this one is for um, the brake side of the bike and there's four of these. So you use one on this side, three will be on the other side. So really not too hard uh, to figure out what goes where. The longer bolt goes in the front make sure we catch that just right and I can do that until uh, we can get that bolt seated and then this one, you have to pay attention to where 
all the little nubs lock in with each other. So you can get all those lined up the way they need to be. So, pretty simple. All right, I'll let you go on this side and I'll get all this stuff buttoned up. All right, everybody working here on the uh, shifter side with the uh, parking brake. So this is quite of a large um, piece, I guess you wanna call it. Um, this whole bracketry for the parking brake, um, you also have a wire that comes through here um, that goes to a sensor. Now, when you're taking these bolts out, it's just the three, there's one, two, and one down below right here that you take. So one, let me get a better angle. One, two, three, that's inside this channel. Do not take this one out. This one stays. You'll wanna take that one out because it's part of the bracket for the front of the footboard, but you don't take that one out. These spacers are going behind this whole assembly right here. So I'm not gonna go into detail on it. There, there are instructions. Um, tell you exactly what you need to do. You're gonna sit here and, and watch me for a couple minutes, but basically you have to put the spacers up, um, put the bolts in, spacers up, finger tighten everything, and then you pull a bolt each time to put the thread lock on, and actually I think you need to put the bolts on, finger tight, while this is sitting up there. And then you'll do one bolt at a time, one spacer at a time, making sure that you use the blue Loctite. Um, and then they give you the torque recommendations too. The, they basically say 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. So, I mean, their instructions are phenomenal. Um, their diagram, like I said, it, it really is good um, for such a small, little, nobody kind of thinks about accessory for, for their, uh, trike or their motorcycle. I mean, these are these are phenomenal. So um, already did the uh, one side, love it. Can't wait to put this one on and kind of take a look at both. All right, I got the, uh, the shifter side all done. Um, and like I said, bolt inside this housing here, bolt here, and bolt down here. Don't touch this one. Not that one, this one, this one, and the one inside here. So you can see the spacers sitting right back here behind this plate. Um, in my previous video section there where it showed I had taken it apart, um, like their directions say, go ahead. Nice, Donnie, I'm sitting here talking and you guys are looking at the floor. Um, so they say to put a block of wood or something there. I just grabbed the closest thing, which was my screw electric screwdriver case so just threw it under there big thing is, is you don't want it to drop all the way to the ground because you've got the cabling and stuff for the parking brake plus there's a wire that goes down through there you know down through there so uh yeah i got uh, both sides done here um if you kind of look look at your bike and look at where the uh the brake pad and the floorboard is Mine, uh, the footboards actually extend past the, uh, the brake pad, the foot portion of the brake pad um, comes out, like I said, an extra inch. And it's, it's actually almost in line with the passenger floorboard. So if you guys are curious about that. So same thing on this side. It very, very, very close to the same um, distance out as far as the feet go. So um, I sat on it, absolutely loved it. Got plenty of foot room here. I'll go ahead and jump on. Ah. So this is my foot now sitting comfortably on the footboard. I go to shift, it's right here. Cruising, right here. Brake, sitting comfortably here. Legs not resting up against my air intake. Brake's right there. So before, you kind of kick your heel in 
while you're riding on the footboard, but now I actually have a lot of real estate with that extension, so big thumbs up on that one, DK Customs. That worked out really well. Again, thanks for joining me for another video that we put the extensions on the uh, front floorboard. Wasn't able to get to the passenger extensions uh, today. Um, I've got some issue with my threading in the, uh, in the bike as far as uh, the bolts lining up and stuff like that with that uh, uh, passenger footboard relocator from DK Customs. Again, big shout out to DK Customs on these floorboard extensions for the trikes. Absolutely awesome. Instructions were great. Um, product is great, looks awesome. You can't even tell that there's an accessory there. Um, as far as uh, the feel, it feels a lot better with those floorboards spread out that extra inch. Um, again, please like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Please subscribe, that helps me out and helps YouTube figure out what dynamics they wanna do with my videos. And uh, hit that bell if you want to get notifications um, for my next videos. Again, thank you very much. You guys be safe. Give more. Peace.